Today we are going to look at how to import and export 3D models in Adobe Dimension. We have my dimension open. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a simple a simple model, square bottle. I have my square bottle. So now, now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this. To export, you need to select your file. You need to select your model and then you go to file then export selected model um i'll be choosing uh, i'll be using obj because it has a uh, wider support for 3d application obj's obj have wider support so i'll be using that and in my download i'll be using uh bottle just bottle and then save it then export and we are cool we, are, we will be opening the same bottle in another 3D application. Before then, I'm, I'm going to import another stock that I downloaded from uh, Adobe Stock. I'm going to import that. And to do so, I'll be clicking on File, then Import 3D Model. And when we navigate to the downloads, it's still there. If you can check my download, it's still in download, but uh, Adobe doesn't open zip file and the stock file are all in zips so i need to extract them draw and then i extract extract here so now we have our object we have our object but what you what we are going to import right now is the orange let's let, let's import another object instead of the orange Let's import something. Extract here. Yeah, like the wine glass. We're going to import the wine glass. Cool. The wine glass is already safe. All the wines and every stuff is in it. So we have our wine glass. We can modify it, we can edit it, and you are cool and good to go yep so we have our wine but now the already exported file i'm going to open it in another 3d application like blender and to do so let's navigate to blender let's delete this for now then i click on file import obj obj file wave front then i go to my download go to bottle then import my battery nice and clean so here you can do whatever you want to do with it you can edit you can modify you can do so many things with it you can animate you can do a lot, whole lot of cool to this object but the focus will not be the focus will not be on it today what we are going to do is just delete it it has set its own purpose and we will create a new file we have, now the next the next Part of the tutorial is we are going to create our own model in Blender and then export it to Dimension. And to do so, I opened a, a cylinder. I added a cylinder and I'm going to modify it a bit. Let's go to Edit Mode, Extrude Scale, Extrude Scale, Solder Maris. Yep. Now we have a cool bottle, a cool sexy bottle. Yep, we have it here. Let's give it a face, vertices. Let's give it another vertices down here. Yep. Then we're going to make it nice and clean. The eye, the face. Eye again, then extrude inside. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's delete the upper face. X. Oops, X face, then we give it a bit space, then we scale inside a bit, then we give it another one here, and we scale again. Okay, the mouth is cool. Now, all you gotta do is apply our modifier, we go to subdivision, and how cool is this? How cool is this juice button? 
It's so cool, don't you think? Yep, I think so too. Right. So nice and pretty. solidify and then make it real 3d yep now we have it all that we're looking for let's close it a bit i think four is all right yeah so we have it here it's okay we have nice juice bottle so i'm going to export this the same way as we did in uh dimension click export wave front then i'm going to instead of b bottle i'll give it juice bottle juicy juicy bottle in the same way i'll save it in uh downloads then open the dimension and import it from there 3d model then download then you go to juice bottle import it's already in e right but then now we can scale and adjust and do whatever we already scale it first nice one nice one yep right we have it here let's delete this one for now okay now we have our juice, whether it's juice bottle or wine bottle or whatever it is. We have it imported and it's working and you can apply your material and logos and whatever you want to do with it. Let's add a frosted glass. Let's check out the preview mode. And you can see that it's cool. It's cool enough. Or you can give it a nice beer material. Okay, it's pretty cool. Right, I'm going to end it here. The main tutorial was about importing and exporting, how to import from Adobe Stock that you've already downloaded, and how to model and then import your own model that you created. So I'll leave it here for the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. It's always been you. Peace.